going to start with CCN. Okay. And uh, in this, we will start with network fundamentals. So I am starting from the from the scratch only. Okay. So let's discuss about network. Like what is a network or how the devices will be connected in the network? What will be the network components which will be used to build a network? Okay. Like if you want to connect some of the endpoints with the existing network, then which devices are required? If you are going to implement any wireless network, then which type of network devices are required? Okay. If you are securing the network, then which type of devices you are going to use? So before going to the network components here, let's discuss about network only. Whenever we, we try to exchange information between the connected endpoints, we need to build a network. Either we have two endpoints or more than two endpoints. But if you are connecting two PCs together with an Ethernet cable only, then also you are going to share information with, with, with this point to point network, right? So a network is used to, or you can say a network is a group of devices connected with some connection media. Connection media means cables. And they can share information between each other. OK, so if you want to send some web traffic between or you can say you want to exchange some web traffic between endpoints, you want to exchange some monitoring traffic, let's say you want to just ping from one endpoint to another endpoint just to verify the connectivity between them, you need a network, right? So to create the networks, we require some network components or you can say network components in which, first of all, we need network devices, then connection media means cables and network resources. Network resources are the services that we want to provide. Okay, that's why we are going to build a network, right? So that we can share the resources between multiple endpoints connected in a network. Okay. Resources like web services, file services, or you can say even telnet SSH are also services, right? So many of the protocols are there which will be used after building a network just to share information between the router or between the network devices. So in terms of network devices, we are going to use routers. Which is firewalls or next generation firewalls, you can say. Then we are going to use wireless LAN controller, wireless access point, IP phone, or here you can call endpoint. In terms of endpoints, many type of host devices will be included. Many types of host devices, right? Like you can you can consider a PC, a desktop as the endpoint, right? So endpoint will be used to generate the traffic in the network. IP phone can be the endpoint, okay? Or any laptop, mobile devices can be the endpoints. Network printer, it is also IP camera, okay? So these are all endpoints. And other than this, we require many devices like IPS when it comes to security or NGIPS, okay? And we have other devices like I. Right? So we will see later. But for here, we are going to discuss till here. Okay, in CNA itself, we will discuss about these devices as well. But in CCN, so these network devices are required to to implement a network. Okay, and cables. If I talk about cables, then we use in network specifically. We use Ethernet cables and fiber optic. Okay, fiber optic cables. We have coaxial cable as well, but uh, it is for television industry. Okay, but if I talk about networking to exchange data over the network between endpoints or to send voice traffic over the networks, then we use Ethernet cables. For band connections, we use fiber optic cables. Now, if I talk about network resources, then here we discuss about services. Like if you have any web server connected in the network and you want to host that web server for some endpoints, okay, then you will connect the endpoints to your network. Then only they will be able to access the server. So here we always host the services. In terms of resources, we provide services like web service. So here you, you can include web server, file server, mail, 
here you can also add their protocols http https ftp tftp scp right for mail smtp and then telnet ssh many of the protocols are there that we are going to discuss snmp syslog server it is also a kind of network resource which can be used okay and other than this we have many other protocols also but for now if i talk about network resources then whatever services we are hosting in the network they can be considered as network resources okay so we need to discuss about all these network components here okay so you guys are familiar with osi model uh, you can see a basic idea of osi then it's good we can move to network devices directly i can provide you some introduction of network devices then we can move to cables and other things so let's start with osi model so this osi model is called open system interconnection right and it was developed or it was published by iso in 1984 as a reference model so that different vendor devices or you can say different uh, attributes networks can communicate with each other can be interoperable with each other like initially when computer systems were developed in 1980s they were not able to or you can say their network standards were not able to communicate or compatible with each other okay like if there is a device developed by apple or there is a device developed by ibm their their network standards were different so the different vendor uh, network communication compatibility was very complex so to you can say to make it possible or to create communication to create interoperability between different vendors for their network attributes this osi reference model was developed okay now in this osi model we have seven layers okay it uses a seven layer approach just to make us understand how the packet is being created how the packet is being forwarded in the network okay what types of attributes it will carry or what types of transmission protocol will be used so all these things or how the data will be presented how the session will be created all these things are you can say are defined in this in these seven layers of reference model okay that's why it is called reference model now in these seven layers it will start with layer 7 we always start from layer 7 you can say whenever you are going to send the data so application layer is layer 7 and then we have presentation layer okay then session layer it is called layer 5 then transport layer it is called layer 4 then we have network layer it is called layer 3 then data link layer it is called layer 2 and physical layer it is called layer 1 okay now if i talk about application layer so this is the closest layer to the endpoint okay whenever any endpoint will uh, try to initiate the traffic will try to send the traffic to any other destination network so he has to use that application layer okay so this is the most closest layer to the endpoint okay and here at application layer we use some application layer protocols which will be used to carry the application layer data let's say if you are going to use any web server okay then web server will send some type of web pages right that web pages will be carried by http or https protocol so it is an application layer protocol if i talk about file transfer then file data will be carried by some application layer protocol like ftp or you can say scp right so these pro tftp these protocols can be used other than this if you are sending any email then emails will be carried by smtp protocol right so these are all application layer protocols which will be used to carry application layer data so application layer will be you can say at this layer both the end user and the application layer interacts directly okay with software application that's why it is called application layer okay so this layer will be responsible to define services which uh, will be used to carry the data it depends on your traffic so application layer is the closest layer you can say here we use many protocols like http s or http smtp okay and uh, you can say dns ftp etc 
many other protocols are there which can be used okay then we have presentation layer right in presentation layer data formats or it will data format will be defined or you can say presentation layer is responsible to translate data for the application layer based on its syntax okay based on its application uh, you can say application code representing right representation so here data encoding decoding decryption encryption compression and decompression of the data will be performed according to application layer attributes okay like if any email is coming so it's email so whenever in any email will be exchanged or email will be sent it will be a different type of application layer attributes it will be having a different type of application layer attributes if i talk about for web services web traffic it will be having some different type of attributes right so at presentation layer it will be defined that how the data is being represented in the network or how the data is being transmitted in which format it is being transmitted okay it is called presentation layer okay so it is used or you can say here i can explain you i can write all these 